um, I'm super, super excited today because I got a deep fryer that I just ordered in the mail yesterday. So I want to make donuts. So um, I'm going to make a basic yeasted donut. So we're going to have to make the dough, knead it a little bit, let it rise, um, form it into the rings, and then let it rise again before we put it into the fryer. So if you want to make this, you're going to need a fryer and you're going to need some time. Um, one alternative to the like two hour process that this is going to be is you could in like later in the day you could make the dough and then put it in the fridge and let it rise overnight then you'll be able to form the the donuts in the morning and fry them and have them in like an hour ready in an hour in the morning instead of doing this whole process so that's an option um so i have in my stand mixer, I have a tablespoon of yeast and it's in warm coconut milk. I did coconut milk, but you can do regular whole milk if you want. Um, a cup and a half of milk, four tablespoons of butter, and a third of a cup of water, and a quarter cup of sugar. I'm gonna have the recipe posted so you don't have to remember all that, but it's all in here. I let the yeast um, foam up a little bit in the warm mixture. And now I'm going to start adding everything else. So I have five cups of flour here and a teaspoon of salt and two eggs. And I have my dough hook on my stand mixer. Um, let me put this in here. Okay. So I'm going to start adding my flour. I lied. I'm gonna do the egg first. So the eggs are beat in, in uh, the mixture. Now I'm going to add the flour a little bit at a time. So the dough is sticky, pretty sticky. Um, the recipe that I'm using says to, to let it uh, mix in the mixer until it kind of pulls away from the sides of the bowl. I think it's done that, so I'm gonna take it out and transfer it to a, um, a big bowl that I already have greased. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, my apartment's quite cold naturally, so, well, at least in the winter it is. So I'm going to um, use my oven to actually, oh, my hands are gross. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to use my oven to, to let this rise. So what I do is I just preheat my oven, the lowest setting that it'll start preheating at is 170 so I just turn it on for like literally five seconds I think I count to five and then I turn it off I've used my temperature to see how warm it gets and it does get when I do that it gets to about like 70 72 degrees which is perfect so I let it rise in the oven I close the door and let it stay in there um, I'm gonna cover this and I let it rise I'll let it rise for like an hour and see if it's doubled in size and then we can start forming them into the rings. We're back, so the dough has been fermenting for a little over an hour. It's big and poofy. I just punched it down and I'm gonna try and get it out of the bowl for us to start shaping it into donuts.
this circle cutter. It looks a little smaller than what a normal donut would be. And then I also have this bowl. I think it's like a, it came with this one person sushi set that I bought. It's slightly bigger than the cutter. So I might do both. And then I have a little piping um, end that I'm gonna poke in the middle and then I'll just stretch it out a little bit to make the hole bigger. That's all I got. If you actually have actual donut cutters, um, definitely use that. make the hole big enough it could shrink and there won't be a hole once you put it in the fryer okay and then I'm putting it on my pan it's got to rest for about a half hour it should after you're done forming the donuts you could turn on your fryer and then the amount of time the fryer takes to heat up is basically the amount of time that these need to rest So there's one donut. I'm going to form the rest of them. I plan on doing about half and half of like jelly filled ones and then regular ones with the hole in the middle and glazed ones. And I'm even going to try like a twisted one. So um, you'll see all the donuts once I start frying them. This should make about two dozen. It might make a little bit more since I don't think this is a large one. Um, yeah, you'll see me in a minute. So I finished forming all the donuts and I let them rest for, it's been maybe more than a half an hour, but at least a half an hour, I've got some ones with holes and some regular ones so we can make some jelly ones. So I cut some squares of parchment paper to put the donuts on because it'll be easier to put them in there without making them like turn into the fryer without making them like stretch out and turn into ovals. So we're gonna take one and we're gonna go to the fryer. And I'm gonna lift my basket up. And <laughs> I had a thought. Um, we're gonna just stick it in and put it down. Can you pull the paper out? It'll, it'll de-stick in a second. So we're gonna let it fry for a couple minutes on each side. Um, I have the temperature at about 350. And then once this is done frying, uh, you need to let it drain on like a paper towel to drain the excess oil off. And we have all our, here we go, the papers are going to come out. Um, we have all our toppings ready. We have chocolate glaze, vanilla glaze, like a thin glaze to pour over it. So it's like a full glazed donut. And we're going to fill some with strawberry jelly and raspberry jelly. And we've got sprinkles. So you'll see the full array once we finish frying them. And I'm going to take the paper out. Should I put the paper? Mm -hmm.
it's like almost there. I'm gonna give it another second. I'm really excited. And the oil that I have in the fryer right now is a mixture of coconut oil and avocado oil because we ran out of coconut oil, so I had to put something else in. They're both high heat oils and they're, I would say a little bit healthier than canola oil, but you can use what you have. And as for the heat, you want it to be at like 350, 360. If it's any lower, uh, the donuts will take too long to fry and then they'll soak up too much oil and they'll be like greasy. If it's too hot, then it'll brown way too fast and it'll be raw on the inside when you take it out. I think it's almost done. It's kind of like a guessing game with frying. You can't really know that it's cooked. You just kind of have to rely on it. Okay. Look at that. That looks perfect. So I'm going to take my donut out. I'm going to put it on there to let it cool off for a second. It smells like the carnival or something. The fried food. And then this one I'm gonna put in sugar. I just have to wait a little bit for it to cool down a little bit more. But you wanna put it in the sugar like a minute after it comes off the out of the fryer. If you do, I have regular sugar, but if you do powdered sugar, you could put in the powdered sugar so it sticks, and then you're probably gonna wanna do another like dunking in of powdered sugar after it cools down, cause the, the sugar's gonna kind of absorb in the first time. Okay. donut. We're going to have so much to clean up. And then once we finish the rest of the donuts, you could, well, when I say we, I mean me and my husband, you could see all of them complete and then maybe we'll take a bite of one at the end. <laughs> okay. So after like almost two hours, we finally finished making them. We had to put two in at a time in the fryer because I have a, I've got a smaller fryer. And then we had to decorate all of them. Just ignore the mess that is my oven right now. But this is what we made. We made um, jelly-filled ones, sugar ones, fro vanilla and chocolate frosted, and then glazed. They all look amazing. I can't wait to eat them. Look at them. Yeah. Ooh. I think I'm gonna bite the twisted one. The twisted ones came out actually really good. Hmm. It's good. It tastes like a, a donut. <laughs> Where's my bite? Do you want a bite? My husband's taking a bite. Mm. <laughs> Based on his face, he thinks they're good too. Mm. Awesome. So, 
I'll post the whole process if you want to try and make these. I hope everybody has a good night and stay safe. This is so exciting. Claudia, I have 